Hello everybody, today we are going to be playing some Skyrim. Um, I, we are specifically doing the Clockwork DLC by Antistar. This is a medium-sized DLC questline that starts at level 5. While you're exploring the Skyrim's wilderness, you will randomly come across an event where a guy named Isidore, Isidore will attack you. Um, and you, if you defeat him, you will get a note to go that he was going to go investigate some ruins. This does uh, have a player home involved and a very nice quest line. I have played through it before. It has been a while, so I'm sure I will forget and not remember all of this. So when you start up um, and you read the note, you get a quest uh, to enter or to investigate the Velothi Mountain Tunnels. Um, you come to this location. You come. You go in here and. The doorway to the ruins appears unstable. It seems likely that going through it will cause it to collapse, trapping you inside and any followers outside. This will prevent you from returning to Skyrim until you find another way out. So yeah, you're going to want to make sure you have everything you need, because you are stuck here. Um, I am running a bunch of mods for Skyrim that change numerous amounts of things. One of my favorites is I'm running a bunch of mods that uh, change how the third person perspective is. Um, so we will be playing this entirely in third person. I believe the game is a lot more fun played in third person, just without mods, third person is not user friendly. I will link all those mods down in the description as well as their authors. Isidore got sick of waiting for you. I've gone on ahead to scout the tunnels. I'll put up some torches to light the way. Pick up your feet and follow them to find Pick up your feet and follow them to find me. I mean it. Hurry up. I want to see your fingers stained from finding this note with the ink still wet. Something in this place makes my hair stand on end. It's as if the shadows are moving. Camilla. Oh. Jeez, okay. I forgot about you. Hi. Um. Guess we gotta go up here. Okay. I did create this character specifically for this. He is a Nord heavy armored dual wielder. I do have mods specifically tailored to dual wielding and their attack animations. Come on, I know you're not adept at this, but you got this. Hey, oh, faked out. Yeah. Any goodies? Some more lockpicks, at least for the ones we broke. Oh, another lockpick. Come on, yeah. Um, I may continue to use this character through future Skyrim videos. Um, I do enjoy the dual wielding, especially after the new attack animations, and just the atmosphere and stuff in here is so amazing. The mod author did awesome at creating this very cohesive, very nice quest line. A lot of the beginning is explained through notes that you can find. Oh, we disappeared. Isidore, Dwemer Ruins. I thought this was just an old imperial palace, or place, but no. That must have come later. There's more than that here. This might be it. This could change everything for us. Just be careful. There's someone else down here. Something not right about her. Always disappears before I can get a good look. I can't leave though. Not now. Camilla. Um, 
every once in a while that does happen. I'm not sure if it's a glitch in the mod or if it's just something to do with the space of being a DLC or a DLC, a modded quest line. Hey, how you doing? We're just gonna keep on walking, keep on walking. Ooh. Hey, big sprite is. Come on. I did give him a little bit of a stat boost, nothing broken to start off the quest line. There is... I do have also a lot of lighting mods and different stuff on to change the atmosphere, so a lot of this is due to the lighting mods and stuff that I am running. Camillas, where's more of your notes? I want to read more of your notes. Oh, disappeared for a hot second. Camilla! Camilla, where is your notes? Oh, I guess we're stuck down here now. Ew. Oh, those are geysers. Oh, uh, hi. Isidore, this is all wrong. Can't go back. Can't face it. Where are you? Camilla. Um, he's, uh, laying in the middle of a forest. Oh, okay. Vilthy Tunnels, Bone Hollow. Um, I'm sure Isidore's fine. He's just, uh... Taking a nap. Yep, nap. Okay. Where is the lady? Don't want creepy lady. Oh, okay. Hi, skulls. H hello. H hello. You just stay on the shelves. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Uh, uh, hello. Nope, nope, no light, no light. You stay right there. Ooh, door. Nope. <coughs> By the way, if I cough at all through this, I do apologize. Um, I am just getting over a cold. So, hopefully, it, towards the end of it, I haven't been coughing too much, but just in case, I apologize now in advance. It's very cobwebby in here. The maid needs to come clean this place up. Jeez. Oh. Chairs. Could create a nice dining hall space out here. It's very nice of Camilla to light this way for us. I have to do this all in the dark. Oh, hi. Uh. Thank you. I, I was just saying that it was great that you lit the place up for us. Uh, I needed you, and you aren't here. I thought those were your footsteps, but they weren't. Always coming up behind me, but nothing there. Time stood still, and she came towards me. Slowly. Slowly. I couldn't move. I can't leave anymore. Can't face it. Can't go back. Out into the world. I'll just sit here, and I'll just stay here with the bones until it's over. Sorry, Isidore. I I'm sorry, um... That may have been my fault by a, a small margin. Um, I apologize. I'm gonna continue onwards. Uh, good luck. Oh, hi. Uh, how how we doing? Oh oh, hello, hello. Can you stay away? No no, stay back. It's okay. Stay. No, you don't need to come any closer. Um, um, ma'am? Ma'am? Stay away. Stay away. Nope, don't, don't need you. Back it up. Back it up. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, your face. Oh, yes. Hi. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, oh. Hi, Mr. Bones. Hi, Mr. Bones. Y your head needs to go with the... Your head's on backwards. Oh, you got some hands there. Those, those are very nice. Ooh, arch. Oh, I was too tall. I destroyed it. I guess that's what happens when you play with things. You break them. Hey, good art somebody made. Oh, this is convenient. Nice little bone. Nice little bone staircase. You got many hands there. Bone flower. Mm. Oh, hey guys. Hey, that kind of hurts a little. You know it's cold. really needs to clean this place up. Oh, hey! Revenant! You can't touch me! Whee. Bones. Hey, Mr. Bone. What's going on over here? What you doing? Oh. Broke it again. So fragile. Hey! No surprise for me. You don't surprise me. No surprise. -er. Goodbye. So many. I thought there was another staircase here. Hey, Skelly Boy! Find a way out of the Velothi Mountain Tunnels. Yeah, I'd love to find a way out of here. It's too dark and damp for my taste. Hey, look at that! More art. Skeletons, what is this problem? I want to be your friend. Glass Lake. <laughs> Glass Lake. Hey. That's a little frozen. Neat. Okay, you can see right through it. It is like a sheet of glass. Ooh, oh, hey. How we doing? Um, kind of a little cold down there. I don't know if I you want to be underneath there. I mean, you can follow me around if you want. It's okay. You really like me. <coughs> where are we headed? Oh, looks like that's where we're headed. Wonder how we get over there, though. Someone decided to destroy the staircase. Oh, we'll go up here. Oh. Hey, look, Satchel. Just some gold. What is this lady's problem? Go away. I don't need anything from you. You don't need anything from me. More bones. The bones. Come on. There you go. Trash. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Hey, don't, uh, legs are fragile. Don't jump off high places. Oh, that tends to make you about to die. No. Come on. Do this real quick so I can heal up. 
<laughs> Seeing as I uh, forgot to grab, I didn't take my own advice and I forgot to grab uh, some healing potions, so we are very low. All of y'all, I don't need you. I'm just trying to get out of this tunnel. It's all, it's all I want. For some reason, you guys gotta stand in my way. Couldn't have talked it out, been friends. I don't mind skeletons. But no, you guys had to attack me. Oh, I see where we need to go. <laughs> Let's go. Come here, Skelly Skelly. Come on. You got it. <laughs> Jill? Some pretty elaborate tunnels they made here. All to get where? Hey, how we doing? What's up? Oh, hey, that hurts. Yep, that hurts. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. Where are you? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hey, you can go right through walls. Okay, that's a little unfair. A little unfair. I don't, I don't like the advantage you got there. Skeletons, we're gonna skip over you. Uh, no thank you. Just hang out there. I don't got time for y'all. We got this floating lady after me. I'm just gonna go run for it. We're gonna run for it. We're gonna run for it. I'm probably just running circles at this point. Probably really not doing anything. Oh, hey, okay. Uh, this way? This way, it seems. Alright. Okay. Oh, okay. Down to the What, 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 what am I supposed to do now? Oh, convenient. Come on, let me out. Let me out. Whew. Do clockwork castle, castle grounds. I guess we've made it. Hey. Hey, that's neat. Love the design. I mean, they did amazing with this. So nice. A little stream. Bunny rivets. A waterfall. Splash, 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 splash. So nice. Man, I could use a bath. Oh my goodness. Hey, who are you? Lahar. I don't believe you should be here. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your house. Yeah, we're gonna ignore you for now. Let me make sure. 
they can be a little bit hard to understand. The mod author did say that he really tried, but the voices required so much processing that it it's a little hard to understand them. There we go. Now we'll have subtitles. Come on, Lahar. I don't, I don't have all day to walk, buddy. Can we get going? Nope. Okay. I'll just slowly follow behind you. <coughs> Steam powered. Courier, you can really leave, buddy. I, I don't, I don't want you. Ooh, it's kind of dark in here. Thank you. Thanks. I mean, you don't need light to see. <clears throat> you know, you're like a robot of some kind, but. I feel like optical processors still need light. Maybe. What do you got going on inside you there? Oh, that was a red thing. Some kind of heart. Come on, Lahar, let's move it. Really, should have cleaned this place up. Like, come on. I get nobody's living here, but like, you're living here and you want to live in this filth? Where are we going? Probably gonna kidnap me. I, I am following you. I've been following you this whole time. Here we are. Our march two is just over there. Please introduce yourself to her. In the meantime, I shall do like the lamps that unlock the doors. No thanks, Lahar. Please excuse me. You're I've excused. Been Got something okay, I'm buddy. To deliver. I will. Let, let's go. I've been looking for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have. Yeah. There's a new. Yep, yeah, yeah, ah. yeah, yeah. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Riches beyond this regard, what is playing? This is for I another mod. Inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a city. And I can't city. stop it. My brother went in a few days ago and <clears throat> hasn't Why I didn't want to talk to the courier. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back Come on, alive. so we can continue to talk to the Lamachu. 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 I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. Come on. And remember. Done with it. Riches beyond imagining. Yep, 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 yep riches. Cassia. Okay. Yeah. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I came through the mountain tunnels. And the tunnel collapsed. Yes, I heard it. No one has used those tunnels in well over a hundred years. But well, you can mark there it is only now. There's one other way out of the castle in this valley. Beneath the keep is the travel machine. It can transport you to the major settlements of Skyrim. Ask that heart to take you to it. He will need to let you out on the other side. Sweet. Go to Lahar. Ask him to let you out through the travel machine. Lahar, where did you go, Lahar? Glass Garden. Can't wait to do some exploring this place. <coughs> Super nice. Nope. Sorry. Yep, nothing. nothing. Laha. What's hey, going on, my guy? I've been in the master bedroom since you may be staying with us for some time. Perfect. Thank you, Lamar. Lamar? Yes, Lamar. That is strange. The travel nope. machine is not functional at this time. In fact, very few machines here are working right now, as the pressurized steam they rely on is not reaching the castle. Perhaps she forgot. I guess we'll have to go. That's a really cool here, clock. I can show you. The travel machine is this way, beneath the keep. 
Please come this way. Following Lahar. I steal this gold bar. Guess you don't care. Take me to the basement, I see. You're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me, Lahar. Try and do it, You shall see that it is not working. Okay. Into the travel machine. What's supposed to happen, Lahar? <laughs> Nothing going on here. You are right. Indeed, it is not working. As you can see, the machine is cold and lifeless. I'm afraid you cannot. What do you mean I'm stuck here? No, the cliffs surrounding the castle are too steep to traverse, and now that the last tunnel has fallen in. No avenues remain. To be honest, I have thought the route you took to reach here to be blocked on the other side for nope. a very long time. Was not. Now it is. I, I kind of messed we that are up. subject to the occasional tremor here. From Red Mountain, I believe. In fact, one such tremor is to blame for the lifeless machines around the castle. It was particularly violent and breached the main steam pipeline. Oh. I attempted to repair the damage, but my brothers and sisters hampered my efforts and drove me out. Brothers and sisters? Yes. Tell me the Duran, deep beneath the castle. They have grown wild, and we are no longer welcome there. Could I repair the damage? You could. I literally know nothing about mechanics, though. Just yes. putting that out right now. I'm just gonna smack a hammer against it and see what happens. Ooh. Yep, just gonna smack with a hammer. Maybe? Thanks, Lar. If you have questions, I will try to answer. If you wish for me to show you around some part of the keep, I can do that too. We may do that later where we take a little tour of the castle, but for now, we are just going to... Well, let's see what he has to say. Yes. I shall endeavor to answer. What are you? I am a caretaker. I see to it that the castle is kept in good repair. I mean, are you of the Dwemer? I... I am a caretaker. I also see to the needs of castle residents. <laughs> Once the travel machine is again functional, I can use it to trade for necessities with merchants in Skyrim. I will be able to arrange trades for you at that time. How do you go in public? Aren't you treated with suspicion? I wear robes. You wear robes? Yes, and observers believe that beneath the robes, I am wearing the suit of the Uh, tell me about the castle. Clockwork Castle sits high in the Velody Mountains at Border Skyrim and Morrowind. It is naturally well defended by virtue of its very remote and treacherous surrounds. Yeah, they are treacherous, alright. The, the entire tunnel I can recover. Some 200 years ago, 
who cultivate family were very successful traders, and the castle was intended to administer a new trading route between Skyrim and Morrowind. However, the devastation of the Red Year put an end to those plans by way of destroying the trade route and the people they wished to trade with. So I was told at least. That was all before my march to and I came here. Castle seems quite unusual. I know little of such things, but I was told that this style of furnishing was popular in Hyrule <laughs> some time ago. Or perhaps you are referring to the machines. The first were built by Ludwig, though I believe how much to be helped. For the machines that were large in number, or in size, or in scope, there my brothers and sisters helped also. We all did. Who is Ludwig? Ludwig used to live here with us. It was he who first invited Hamash to the night to live in the castle. I have not seen Ludwig in a very long time. What happened to him? I don't know. I believe he kept a series of journals, however. Perhaps the answer can be found in their pages. Ooh, I have to find this journal. I recall seeing them scattered about the keep. You might try looking in the master bedroom. Pages study the travel room. Oh, we're in the travel room. Started a bed of dust. Looks like there's some side quests. We'll have to do that and see what happens. Uh, what is Nerdora? It's the old colony of the Dwemer, and my old home. Sadly, it is now ruined, and we are no longer welcome there. How much to the time are fortunate to be able to now call Clockwork Castle our home. Why do only you and Lamash to live here? It was not always like this. Ludwig used to live here too. So did his family and servants. But they all left long ago, shortly after Lamash to and I came here. What if I have to kill your brothers and sisters? They are like me. You cannot kill us. You may need to knock us down, but we shall rise again, eventually. Ah. Do not worry. How did you light the lamp so quickly? They are gas lights that are largely automated. It's only took a moment. Neat. Are there any supplies available here? Feel free to make use of anything you may find lying about. The Thanks, I already took some gold. I am afraid though that until the travel machine is restored, further supplies, such as food, will not be available. Never mind. Of course. Thanks, Lahar. There's some work about the castle I'd like you to do. Could you clean up the... Very well. I shall clear them away. Thank you, thank you. And could you repair the peeling walls over Thank you, thank you. Never mind. Of course. Thanks, Come Lahar. If you need something. Pneumatic tube receptacle. Hmm. Baskets. What's in here? Oh, just that. Hey, Ludwig's journal. Um, there is a lot of reading here. So what I'll do is I will slowly flip through and you guys can pause if you want to read all this. Let me get back to the beginning here. I have read all this before. It is a rather interesting read and really gives you a lot of the backstory of the castle and the family that owned it and built it and what we're doing here. So it's definitely worth the read. 
<clears throat> if you're into the backstory and like what what, what is going on. That is it. Now we just only have two or... Th that was a third of the four, so we have three more journals to find. <coughs> Thanks, Lahar. Well, guys, that is all we have time for today. That is part one of... I uh, don't know how many parts series. Like I said, it is a medium-sized quest line. Um... Can't wait to get through the rest. Next up, we will uh, go talk to Lamash La too, and we'll go get that key to Nerndal and do go delving and exploring a Dwemer ruin. Thanks, guys. <laughs>